12 years since the Rwandan genocide, but the sheer horror hasn't lost its impact. 800,000 people were killed in 100 days. Students at Salem High School are just finding out about it. They were just too young in 1994 to understand. Now they're working on a huge art project, though, that will raise money to help people in Rwanda. Wavy News 10 photojournalist Aaron Kurtz shows us their work. Oh, you're dead it already? Yeah. Um, you can take it over there and put a piece of clay on it to hold it open. It's going to go all, all around the country and everything. And they're hoping to fill every single page up with um, a handprint. It'll make like $800,000. It's pretty sad. I didn't, I don't understand how something that sad and that impactful could go without us knowing it. Because I had never even known anything about it at all. This book is going to help um, sponsor different projects in the country of Rwanda. And those projects will help improve the uh, lives of people back there. So it's going to not only help them in remembering that there is a memorial representing what happened, but also in a practical way. Um, such as improving the, the lives. They're, they're little clay pieces that represent the people, and you can put one on top of it to let it dry. I feel the excitement, though, that they're starting to generate, and they're starting to get in them a while. Like, I, I participated in something huge, and that's, what the, that's that was what I wanted to give them, that feeling of, I'm, I'm just one person in Virginia, but I can actually do something larger than myself. How remarkable. Well, Salem High is only one of six schools across the country participating in the project. They're hoping to raise $800,000. Each dollar will represent a Rwandan killed in the genocide.